Here's the question for the audience out there. Whoa. Want feedback on this story. I want the feedback. I want you to tell me in the comments, David's going to be watching them, what you would do in this situation. What would you do if you found a large pile of cash and no one was around to see what you were doing? What would you do if you found a hundred grand on the floor in a bag? And no one was around no to see. No one was around. Let me tell you this story and you tell me what we do. So this teen, let's get his name, Jose Romanis. He's a 19-year-old criminal justice student, college student in New Mexico. The dude finds 135 wait, 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 grand. Wait, wait. He's a criminal justice student? Exactly. Wow. What are the odds? <laughs> so Jose, our good friend Jose that we're going to be talking about right now, he's at the ATM like we've all used the ATM before. He looks to his right and he sees a bag of money just sitting there next to the machine. How much money was in this bag? $135,000. Mm. Okay? Now, again, I asked at the beginning of this segment, yeah. what would you do in this situation? So what's the first thing you do? First thing you do is probably look around. Yeah, you look around. You're like, who the hell's oh, around here? What the sure. hell's going on here? Then what? What do you do? Then you inspect the bag. You inspect the bag. You pick it up. You, you see a lot of money in there. You don't start counting it right no, now. No, no, you just see blocks of money. If okay. it's that bag right there, it's yeah. You just you go, like, oh, dude. There's, there's the bag. Be. You know how they say secure the bag. Homie secured the bag. So what did he do next? And I want to find out what you guys would do next. What did he do? He called the popo. Uh, called the police. I got a bag of a lot of money here. The police said, "We're on our way." So the bag was accidentally apparently left by an ATM worker who forgot to fill the yeah. machine. Probably yep. was high. <laughs> Definitely was or, high. Or or had much bigger plans. Yeah. <laughs> like this or stole guy, the rest of the money. <laughs> this guy, no, this guy, this guy left the 135k, and his buddy was gonna come pick it up. And now this little 19 year old yeah, squeak, ruined the ruined Ocean's the 15 scheme. Damn it. Yeah, damn it. Freaking Jose every yeah. time. You know, I worked at a bank and I knew exactly that was what happened. Because that's a, that's how you get it. And so then you you package it, you fill up the ATM like that. And that's yeah. only 50. Okay, so you worked at a bank. Yeah, yeah I worked at a bank. We ever have you ever dealt with like no, hundreds of thousands of dollars? Oh, 100%. But you have. It's always in a group of two so that something like this Ooh. doesn't happen. Do so. you ever look at the person behind it? Come on, bro. It's the cameras, dude. It's just there's. I'm so paranoid. I'm like, there's, there's no chance. I find yeah, $135,000. I'm, I'm like, there's no chance, dude. You're always being watched. There's just no chance. Big Brother's watching. 100%. Always. Yeah. There's always some sort of okay. CCTV. So Jose, he called the cops. Would you have called the cops? Uh, what would you yes. have done, dude? I would have done. They're exactly calling 911. This is the problem, though. I think we need to build. We, there needs to become. A, there needs to be a structure for this. However much money you find, you get 10 percent because something needs to happen like that to make it actually worth your while. Yeah. Well, what happened to finders keepers? Well. <laughs> that was David. I like that. Finders, keepers, that, losers, weepers. What would you have illegal. done, David? Well, here, here, okay, so I would have been paranoid, right? Oh, man. The good paranoia, though. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have said, uh, I mean, obviously, oh, turn it into the cops, but it's like, well, someone left their bag here. Well, speaking of the 10%, let's see what this guy got. Because he called the police. They obviously took the money. Right. They, the, they who clap, knows what the police right? they did. Clap, they clap. They go, well done, yeah, buddy. Well done, buddy. He yeah. got a clap. Number Thanks, one, he got yeah. a round of applause, <laughs> yeah. which and then does not like, pay the bills. Right. Exactly. Here's what he got. He was called a community hero by the police. Mm, worthless, by yeah. the way. Yeah. That, that's no not, money there. Hey, community hero. All right, everyone, break. Okay, right. cool. The mayor and the police chief held a ceremony to officially thank him. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, All right, boys. done. Thanks, Jose. Yeah. He's out. Get this. Get this. He got several gift cards to local restaurants. <laughs> now, that is what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Well, it Chipotle? Yeah. And oh. then, get this. Talking about big money, he got a $500 scholarship. <laughs> $500? dollars $500 scholarship. No, that's that's not five thousand. No, that's offensive. It's it's like at that point, just don't give me. Yeah, a don't give me anything, bro. Okay, and then here's the here's the here's the kicker. An iTunes gift card. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> season tickets to the University of New Mexico football games <laughs> with a bunch of sports paraphernalia. Dude, that's not bad. Dude, what if and you is, it, is it paraphernalia or memorabilia? Because paraphernalia sounds like <laughs> an illegal thing. Yeah. Exactly. Memorabilia, sports gear. Sports fact, memorabilia, gear. yes, yeah. paraphernalia. Fair, fair. Uh, yeah, okay, not bad if you're going if you're getting Alabama season tickets, right? Hey, or but Jose, Jose, University of Miami or Michigan 
New Mexico season tickets? Is, are they not even a ranked team? That's where he lives, dude. I got that part. That's where he goes to school. But that's like giving me season tickets to see FIU. I, I could, I'm good. I'm good, bro. So now I got to waste every Saturday of my life now I because I found money? This? What am I going to do with this? Anyway. Right. right. So uh, Marcelo, actually, he's not only our, com- our in-house comedian, writer, joke teller. He is our legal expert. I said, what are the legal ramifications on this? He said, I'm on it, Saz. Here's what he found out. He says, yes, obviously, you know, it's not 135 grand, but it is better than, you know, going to jail. After all, he is a criminal justice major. And Marcelo found this, quote unquote, if you find a significant amount of money, check your local laws or contact an attorney or the police. If a law requires that you turn over money you have found to the police and you do not do so, you could be charged with larceny or theft. Why? If dun, I just dun, find dun, dun, money? And it has to, well, each state has their minimum. They're like, their minimum. So if it's right. over, it's, it's usually between $500 and $1,000. So if you find anything more than that in most states, you have to tell somebody or you go to jail. Because this is my or mentality. Or I go to jail. Right, yeah, yeah. Because Real this quick, kid- real quick, just so we get some feedback and we can keep talking. If you keep the money, you're keeping the money, give a thumbs up. I want to see some thumbs up. If you said, no, I don't like this karma. Right. This ain't for me. This ain't what I'm trying to do. Thumbs down. Yeah. You're not keeping the money. Yeah. We're going to be checking and the comments. Not, David's the, on that. It's not just the money. It's $135,000. Yeah. 420 Cafe with Brojo commented, lesson, keep the money. Keep the money. <laughs> I got to tell you. You would have kept it. the money? Save that money. <laughs> okay. So him, You would have grabbed the bag of let, money. Okay. Let's let's back up. Let's just talk about Jose and let's talk about ourselves here. Okay, go ahead. So we're all clear here. So there's Jose. He's staring at the money. What do I do? The police are about to show up. Now I got five minutes they show up. I'm 19. I'm 19. I got yeah. the rest of my life. He says, you know how they say WWJD? What would Jesus do? Uh-huh. Sure. He thought WW, my parents do. He thought about his parents. This is like a good... Young, Hispanic male, 100%. good family, His parents are probably good, grooming, good grooming. He says, quote unquote, my parents always taught me to work for my own. Stolen money would never last you. steal anything. Anytime. I agree. I agree. I'm with his parents, so dude. So here is a situation where, David, man, the thumbs up, the thumbs down one second. Here's a situation where me, I've got some money. A hundred grand isn't going to change my life to the point where I'm living a whole new life. However, hundred grand. Angel on my shoulder saying, "Yeah, do something good, help people, make sure this money goes to its rightful owner. Maybe it goes to a, a philanthropic endeavor. Then the devil, let's fucking party, bro. Hundred grand, let's do it. You're gonna buy this. You're gonna go out. You're gonna have a party. You get, you know. I think all of us." Are dealing with the angel and devil. Nobody yeah. says 100. percent We yeah, have but, a lot of thumbs up know, in the chat. We got a lot, of, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of thumbs up, man. There's like thumbs, thumbs up down. if you're keeping the money. Dude. Thumbs down if you're turning it in. Someone, what if, what David, if you take that money and put it straight into Bitcoin? Does anybody even know what happened? Like, is that just ooh. like the ultimate way to get away with yeah. it? That's a, that's the ultimate. Oh my that's god, that's the way to get yeah, away I with think it, that's right? The way. But this is my per- my perspective. Is if I'm his parents, right? I'm I'm this guy's parents, and I'm, we're immigrants. Yeah, I'm pissed if you There can. is nothing more valuable than freedom. So this kid takes that 135K, he runs away with it, and it's under his bed. Next thing you know, the whole family is arrested for aiding and abetting. Ooh. Now we worked all our life to get to America, and this kid just took it from us because he couldn't keep his hands in his pockets. <laughs> wow, spoken from a Latino a, man whose I'm, mom escaped communism. hundred percent, and it all's freedom. hundred percent, business. I am. I am speaking for all those immigrant parents out there that would say the same thing. Call the police because if you get caught for that money. Well, h- hold on. Your family, half Cuban, half Dominican. Right. Twenty-four years old. Right. David. Yeah. Twenty-five years old. Hundred yeah. percent Colombian. Colombian. Yeah. Immigrant family. Correct. You're keeping the money, bro. I, I agree with... with <laughs> You're keeping the money, bro? No, no, listen, what you doing with the money? I Listen, uh, Marcelo has a point. My my, my mamita would say... <laughs> yes, she would. And she'd be right. Dinero. She'd you know, return the money. Um... You but have, it's, you know, that money... that You're not stealing anything. You're not taking anyone's money from their false. account. That money is insured. I worked at a bank. That oh, money's insured. Oh, good point here. This yeah. is where we have our local bank teller, hey, David Bada, in the hey, house. We got robbed. That's why they, That's what they tell you when you're... Uh, it's called the FDIC. Yeah. You get, you're getting yeah. robbed. You're like, give them everything. That money's insured. Okay. Yes. Bro, you left the bag out? 
That's your problem. Anyway, this is one of... <laughs> That's my solution. <laughs> this guy's laughing so hard, yeah. I think we should call Jorge, the cops. Uh, you, 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 <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down, Jorge? You keeping the money or you calling the cops? He's, He's keeping, keeping the, the money! money! Anyway. You guys are going Jose. to jail, bro. I'll bail you out. Here, I'll bail here's you the out. lesson here, you know? It's it's not not everything's black and white. You find 135 grand. Some things are Latino. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some things are brown. Yes. So uh, good deeds can go viral. You Dude, can. This guy got gypped. <laughs> this this, guy, got this guy got a round of applause and some season tickets yeah, to the got, Mexico <laughs> Lobos football. And yeah. he got featured on the sauce cast. I mean, seriously, <laughs> this guy got nothing for this. This guy, he's. Oh he, man, poor kid. He had 135 candy. If gave I'm it away. if I'm freaking New Mexico <laughs> University, I want to promote this story as much as possible. These are the kind of students we have here. I give a little kid a scholarship, pay for his. They did. It was $500. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, here's a $500 scholarship. Go fuck yeah, buddy, yourself. There's a $500 oh, credit my God. to our cafeteria. Jose, if you end up hearing this, we'd love to speak with you. Jose Romanis, 19-year-old criminal justice student out of New Mexico. Half our audience thinks that you're a freaking loser, bro. Half our audience respects you. So, Poor kid. Poor uh, kid. No, man. No, not poor kid. <laughs> Not poor kid at all. Dude, he could have invested into Bitcoin. But uh, talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode, or just stay broke. <laughs>